We found out today that the Liberals have no plan to create jobs. They have no plan to control their spending. The only plan they have is to borrow more money. Wow. What the Liberals don't seem to realize is that it doesn't matter how much money you borrow or why you're borrowing it, someone has to pay it back at the end of the day. That's right. So my question is to the Prime Minister, does he now realize that budgets don't balance themselves? <laughs> right Honourable Prime Minister. I was uh, surprised, Mr. Speaker, to hear the member opposite uh, try and say that, uh, quote, now is not the time to spend based on slow economic growth. Uh, well, not only do we disagree with the member opposite, we ran a campaign on exactly our disagreement on that. And it looks like Canadians agreed with us that we will invest in infrastructure, that we'll put money in the pockets of the middle class and those working hard to grow join. We will invest in innovation and the kind of future and growth that the economy needs. That's exactly what we committed to do. That's exactly what we're doing. What the Canadians got for the last 10 years was an actual plan. A plan that created 1.3 million net new jobs. Mr. Speaker, a plan that lowered taxes to the lowest level in 50 years, balanced the budget, and created a surplus. And what did that mean? It meant that Canada became the best place in the world to invest in and create jobs in. And what did these guys do in 100 days, Mr. Speaker? They blew that record. Does the Prime Minister understand that Canadians actually want to plan not just more Liberal spending? The Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, for 10 years, Canadians put up with a, a, government, a previous government that twisted the numbers, that picked and chose uh, what it wanted to say, Fake and refused surplus. to res uh, accept uh, that they ran us into deficit in 2015-2016. Uh, uh, we inherited a need to invest in our economy to fix the wrongs that this government, this previous government, was unable to create. The growth, uh, the support, uh, the investments that were going to lead to a better future for all Canadians. That's what we got elected to do and that's what we're going to deliver. Yeah.